I swear to God, something needs to be done about this crap. So I just got through playing the game, and we're going to post commentate the replay because I want to show you just how frustrating this crap was going through this. So let's get into it. So here's my opponent, Leonidas, almost 1700 rating, who cares? So I'm running a standard spiritual deck with swords, tower spawn, and Atreos, and guess what my opponent's running? You couldn't tell already, they're all archer massing. I think all archer massing is something I can't stand more than anything. I would even rather deal with magi kill spam turtling because at least you have an easier chance to counter that. But this is just insufferable. It was insufferable every second I played through this. So I did a sword opening. I did a sword opening with miners because I saw they have blazing bolts and I knew my archer wouldn't win a 1v1 if they were to do an archer start, which they did, but they had to sit at base anyway. So he, I see he's racking up eco, so I decided, you know, I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to eco up as much as possible. I wasn't suspicious of what he was doing right away because I figured maybe he was waiting for a general or a tank. Lo and behold, he had neither one of those. It was just all art, just like a freaking stupid coward. So here we go. He's pressing with his archer towards tower. I was at my base at the time, so I didn't see this right away. So I back up, wait for my archer, garrison the weak sword, force him off the tower, and here's the acid rain. The second this acid rain activated, I knew he was all archer massing because I'm yet to see any standard spiritual deck or any, you know, rational, strategic, actually skill requiring deck that doesn't use that uses Acid Rain. Usually Acid Rain is, if it's not with dead spammers, it's with all Archer Masters. And it's for continuous harassment to force you off the tower out of the base so they can get their tower spawns activated like he's trying to right now. He gets the projectile shield up, and of course I try to fight through it, but projectile shield, free freaking tank that absorbs everything for however many seconds it lasts. It's way better than a Spiritan. Way better than a Spiritan, but of course, you know, wasn't able to get that and um, get my spear, get to the tower, and he's where he reactivates acid rain, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and of course, he was a he was a Yanamochi spammer because, you know, we, he just had to be that as well. Now, for acid rain, I can't counter it. I have healing ward, but I was saving it to get a trails out instead. Because in this case, a trails would give me a chance for my spiritons to close the gap on archers and potentially hit them with the use of stand-in. So Atreus was a pretty decent help here, though not, not entirely, not too much. So here we go, he's at the tower, still swimming nothing but his coward ass archers, and he gets the first tower spawn activated. So what do I do? Pretty sure I garrison, right? Yep, I had a garrison to it. But with Atreus, I was able to use stand-in, close the distance enough, and get an archer pick. And even in this case, even if it's only one archer, it's still a huge freaking win. And then for some stupid reason, he keeps one archer at the tower, as if I'm not going to kill that, you freaking idiot. Here he goes again, going for another attack, because of course he wants to get bold here, and that results in him losing an archer, yep. Then he reactivates acid rain, surprise, surprise. This is where I start using healing ward, never mind, I back off the tower again. Alright, I didn't have the tower spawn researched yet. I didn't go for the tower spawn immediately because I knew my forces would not be strong enough to hold on to the tower long enough for the first spawn to finish researching. So the plan here was to just have a set archer count and try and get spears. Even though in this in this day and age, in this setting, it's nearly impossible to do because you're spending 450 gold and 50 mana on a Spiritan back gets shredded by archers. Meanwhile, all this person needs is a 150 mana bubble that absorbs all projectiles, so it completely eliminates the threat of archers. And the Spiritan is not going to be threatening him against him whatsoever. The only threat against his archers is a Treos, really. If my archers can't kill them, then it would be a Treos, which he can easily just run away from. Didn't even have rage in this game, and he was still able to just get away. And it's because of the fact that a lot of these standard melee units like spears and I think swords have the same running speed as archers. In Stake Empire, swords and spears are slightly faster, so you were able to 
catch up to archers, rush them down, and pick them off. But of course, we're not going to get that here because this is Stick War 3, of course. So, you know, I have no choice but to engage this even though I am literally losing this exchange every time because of the fact that he can just throw off a 150 mana projectile shield that covers so much space and just keeps his archers nice and warm and safe and protected, of course. So this is where I start using Acid Rain and this is where I start going for the first tier tower spawn because I have no choice here. It's either I keep trying to just match this archer DPS with spears which is, is a losing battle for me every time or I try to get the tower spawns out where it would at least be free spears so I'm going for that and the goal is to stall out with the amount of spears that I have so that's what I'm doing here that's the plan and of course the whole time my opponent is just using these emojis which apparently is a tactic to piss your opponent off but I can understand why you don't want to see these stupid things on your screen every five seconds so I'm really hoping that in the future we get an emoji block option where if you select this option, you can't use emojis and neither can your you can't use emojis and the emojis your opponent uses, you don't have to see them. That would be a fantastic thing to add because when I say I hate these emojis, that is an understatement. I want to just take these emojis and burn them in pits of lava and then laugh at the end of it. So anyway, moving on, I got my first tower spawn out. Obviously, that is not going to win me the game here. It's just there to start throwing a wrench into his equation. It's just temporary stall to prevent him from getting the tower from me. So this is a race. This is a race against time. I have to be able to hold this tower as much as possible. So every time he goes for Asuran, I just pop the healing ward. And he does the same thing. So it's at this point, I'm max pop. And what I'm doing, what I did here was I kept a Spearton in the queue fully trained. So that way, by the time I lose the Spearton, the next one is immediately trained to come out and it will help me stall more. Now, luckily, he doesn't have rage. He didn't bring rage because he's an idiot. So I didn't have to worry about that. Going for the projectile shield, I have to pretty much show that I don't care. And the good thing with the trails is. I was able to close the distance enough to get three archer picks, which was great, but of course, he can easily replace those because they only cost 300 gold. So I'm going to fast forward because the game, the, the game went like this for a long time. Rushing back and forth, forcing him away from my units, using healing war when he pops in acid rain. When he runs in using the projectile shoot, I have to show him I, I don't care about it, and every time a spirit thing gets killed, I have it immediately replaced. That is the goal here, to help me stall out. And it's working, I got the second tier tower spawn, two spiritons now, and still not enough to win me the game yet because he can easily shred those with a sheer archer count. So, I have to keep it up, got the third tier tower spawn researching. Goes for another acid rain, I show, much I, I, don't, I show how much I don't care, able to get two archer picks here because he's too slow and backing his archers away, so Really goes to show how much skill he has when you do an all archer math deck like this. Like this has been a this has been an issue in Stick War 3 for the longest time, and yet nothing is being done about it. And I don't think anything can be done about it because, you know, making archers, nerfing archers, you know, nobody wants to do that. That really isn't the problem here. The archers themselves aren't the isn't the problem. It's the fact that you can't use melee units that would have chased down archers unless you have freaking ninjas or rip riders or something. And I'm not using rip riders. The ninjas would not do well here. They would get annihilated by this archer mass. I mean, in the case of you using actual tanks here, you know, on paper, which would beat all archer massing, but why get spear tins when you can just pop a 150 mana spell that gives you so much mileage because it costs you way less? And you're not taking damage. My spears are still taking damage. His archers are not when he has projectile shield up. So here it is. I have the third tier tower spawn research. Maxed out spear to tower spawn. And I go for the push here. Now was this enough to win me the game? No, of course not. But I had to rush anyway. So I'm going for it. I'm using stand in. He's going for the projectile shield. I should have probably kept the trails to attack the statue that I don't think it would have mattered. 
So here we go. This is something I have to do because I have to get damage on a stupid statue. I can't just leave this thing at full health. This does cost me all of my spears and cost me tower spawn. So of course now, with his confidence restored and his ego really swelled up, he goes for the push on tower. Obviously thinking he's the shit by consistently laughing all the time. And even with my attempt to force him off with spears, it doesn't work, he gets the four tower spawns out, so all I can do is run away. So it's at this point you think I lost the game, and even I thought I lost the game here. But this is where the power of using control was able to kick in here, and this, this threw off his archers really hard, especially considering mine are protected behind the statue. So I'm just back here trying to hit his archers, obviously not having any effect given the fact that he has healing ward. But, when we kill these tower spawns and this archers are still trying to kill my spear ten, I'm able to get a couple of good archer kills here. And that's when I realized that if I keep the spear ten in his face, he can't do anything about it. Then this dumbass goes for acid rain when his archers are still going to get hit by it, and even thinks he can push me off the tower. And guess what, this is where having spear tens actually kicks in, because his projectile shield is still in cooldown, so he can't afford it to do anything about this, and then I pop a healing ward which allows me to just secure another push here. Now unfortunately Acid Rain doesn't eviscerate all those Archonauts like I wanted them to, this is where the projectile shield goes off the cooldown, throws down the healing ward, even throws his miners in the push because he's getting desperate. He doesn't want me to win this game because he has a glorified All Archer Mask. All Archer Mask should beat all. Because if he loses at all Archer Mask, all hope is lost for him because he can't be good at anything else. That's right, I'm being smug here. I don't care. I am being smug here. Call me an asshole. I don't give a shit. And here we go. This is where Atreus comes back in clutch because I can't send my Archer to the tower because he'll run right past the Archers and kill them. That's how this AI is supposed to work. So he's just ordered to using solo archers to try and take the towers. I didn't let work. I brought my archers back this time so they would stop targeting Atreos. And they were to get more kills. And here we go. He tries it again and that archer gets annihilated by mine. We get another set of tower spawns. He pops acid rain but I don't care because guess what? I just throw healing ward down right here so my units can pass right through it and get healed up. So guess what? That acid rain can kiss my ass. And it's at this point, he goes to the projectile shield, but I have just enough spear tins with stamina activated to take his ass down. I can't tell you the amount of just pure elation I felt when I counted this stupid Archer Master. But yeah, considering that this is still rampant in the game, it's still such a massive problem. You know, this is stick what three for you, but yeah. That'll be the end for this video. I just wanted to show you guys that I counted this coward.